you want to add math formulas to your handouts without having to pay for a product like MathType, you can go and install LibreOffice. It's at LibreOffice.org. And if you download the normal version, you have to be the administrator to install it. That won't work here at the school, so you can download the portable version and install that instead, and it'll install to a USB chip, and you can take it every place you'd like. So here we are in the word processor, and what I'm going to do is I'm now going to insert a formula. I've set this up so that my original font size is going to be 24 points so that you can read things a little bit easier. Now I could point and click for all the things that I want, but it's easier for me to type them directly. So let's say I want the variance s squared sub x, and that is equal to n times the sum of x squared, and I do not want the parentheses, so I'll get rid of them here, minus the sum of x squared. Now that's all over n times n minus 1, so I have to group this, and I use curly braces to group things, so that's over n times n minus 1. And there it is typeset for me. Well, this is good, but let's add some more to it so I can say sum from i equals 1 to n. So I'm going to have here from i equals 1 to n, and then I'm going to put here x sub i, and then I need the same thing on this other sum from i equals 1 to n, and x sub i. And now you'll notice that the parentheses are not quite scaled the way I'd want. One thing that you can do if you're not sure how to do it is you can come down here and I can look for my brackets and one of them here is round brackets scalable. So I'm just going to click this and insert that and the way you do it it turns out is you say left open parenthesis and right closed parenthesis. Well now that I know that I can just come back here and take this and change it to a left open parenthesis, and this one will be a right close parenthesis, and now it scales very nicely. When I click outside of the formula, I come back to my word processing document, and there I have it. And at this point, I can save the document. So let me save this as and I'll just put it on my H drive as formula.odt. But I don't have to save it in that format if I don't want to. First of all, I can export it as a PDF. And the other thing I can do is I can save it in Microsoft DocX format. It'll give me a warning asking me if I really want to do that. But yes, I can do that. Now let's say you want to add a graph to your handout. You can download Maxima, which is a computer algebra system, and it does graphs in addition to things like solving and simplifying equations. So let's look at the graphing capabilities of this. And let's just put in a simple function. So let's say f of x becomes 2 times x plus 3. You press Shift Enter and that is how you say you're done with that line. Now I can say let's do a 2D plot of f of x and we want the range of x from negative 5 to positive 5. And when I press shift enter I get a window that has my drawing in it and I can copy that plot to the clipboard come back to my word processing document and paste it in. You'll notice that the y-axis is labeled 2 times x plus 3, which is probably not what I want. So what I can do is I can come back here into Maxima, and I can say I would like my y label to be just the letter y. I have to use double quotes, by the way, not single quotes on this. And if I press Shift Enter again, now I have the plot the way I want it with the letter Y instead. I can copy that to the clipboard, get rid of the old one, and paste in the new one. 
What if I need to um, draw more than one function at a time? Well, I can do that easily enough. So let's go back here. And this time I'm going to do another plot 2D. And I'm going to have f of x. And inside the square brackets, I'll just put another function directly. How about, oh, let's say 4 times x minus 5. And again, I want x from negative 5 to positive 5. And I want my y label to be the letter y. And now I get both of those. And you'll notice that up in the upper right hand corner of the drawing is the legend. Well, if I'm doing a handout, that's great. If I want doing a test and I want people to identify which one is which, I probably don't want them labeled. So how do I avoid getting a label? I go back here and I add another set of options and say I want the legend on the graph to be the empty string. And now when I plot it, I get just the plain plot without any identifying information that would give the students the answer in advance. Sorry about the abrupt jump there in the editing, but I was too lazy to re-record the entire previous segment. To make it up to you, here are some cat pictures. Okay, it's also possible to plot things more than linear equations. So for example, I can do a 2D plot of x squared minus um, 3. And let's do that from x as negative 5 to positive 5. And there's that. And I can do 3D plots as well. So for example, let's do a plot 3D of, and now I don't need the square brackets, by the way, because I can only do one 3D plot at a time. Let's do x cubed minus x times y plus y squared. And let's see what that looks like when we have x from negative 5 to 5 and y from negative 5 to 5 also. And there's a nice 3D plot, which I can either copy to the clipboard or I can export to a file in either PNG format, PDF, or as a scalable vector graphic. As long as I'm in Maxima, I might as well show you some of the other things it can do. One of the things it can do is do rational simplification of expressions such as, for example, x plus 3 times x minus 6 times x plus 7. And it can also do factorizations. So if I wanted to factor x squared plus 4 times x minus 45, it would give me x minus 5 and x plus 9. And it can also solve systems of linear equations. So if I wanted to solve x plus 2 times y equals 7, and 3 times x minus 5 times y equals 10, and I wanted the solution for x and y, Maxima would give, me, give that to me. Now Maxima has a lot more applications than this. It has a lot more features. And I can't go into them all in this simple video. But if you're interested in the kinds of things you can do, I strongly encourage you to download it and take a look at the documentation. So again, the tools that I'm using are LibreOffice.org, which allows me to type in formulas and have them typeset as I type them. And Maxima, which lets me do plots. And that's the good way to make handouts and exams that are customized for your course.